What's going on guys? It's your boy Jesse D123 back on another video and guys the content is finally here. Team Affinity Season 2 is among us and I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to complete it. Drop a like if you guys are excited man. If you guys have not clicked that subscribe button yet please consider doing so. We're on the road to 1500 subs man so if you guys do not see that number there please be the cool guy or girl that helps us get there. I really appreciate it. But before we get into the video we do this every video now guys. So the first person who comments on each video will get a shout out in the next one. So shout out to my boy Jake throwing his comment up on screen. I appreciate you, bro. He was the first one to comment in last video. So whoever comments on this video first is going to get a shout out in next video and so on and so forth. So please, guys, I encourage you guys to rush to the videos, drop a like and drop a comment. But without further ado, man, let's get right into the video. So Team Affinity Season 2, guys, is similar to Season 1. We get six um, divisions, the AL East, Central West, the NL West, Central East. For this sake, we're going to take a look at the NL West because I'm a Dodger fan. So this is what I really care about. <laughs> So I'm, at first, I'm just going to go over what's new. So we get some new baskets, which is cool. Some new flashback and legends. And this is for each division, which is cool. There's a lot of new good cards in there. Um, uh, unlockable, so we get new nameplates. New uniforms, which is cool. I didn't think they were going to throw us some new uniforms. But hey, I'm not mad at that. And guys, packs. This is one thing I want to go over in another video. We get a ton of packs from the Team Affinities. You guys got to take full advantage of this. I think they said over 20 Team Affinity packs and 8 balling packs, if I'm not mistaken. But like I said, we'll go over that in another video um and obviously everyone wants to get to 60 and the route i'm going to show you guys to get to 60 you guys can build upon and do other routes to get to 150 because obviously this is the fastest way to complete um team affinity season two but i'm gonna show you guys the fastest way to get to this 60 team affinity so you guys can get your first card out of this pack me personally i'm going to be taking care of this one this is what he made is kind of nasty not gonna lie but I think I'm going to be going Brandon Webb. Can't wait to use him. He's one of the new legends. So I'm excited to use him. But Brandon Webb more than likely is going to be my first choice. So let's get into the fastest way to take care of this. Like I said, there's going to be multiple ways. Multiple fastest ways. I'm going to give you guys about three of them. The first way is if you guys have a ton of stubs and you guys can just drop money into this game. The fastest way to complete this will be through exchanges. Taking care of all these exchanges right here. NOS players 4 gets you 30 team affinity points. This one gets you 15. So 30 plus 15, that's 45. This one gets you 10, that's 55. And then the last one gets you 5, which, you, which gets you 60. Now, like I said, this is going to be expensive, especially because the player, the NOS players 4 is 150,000 exchange value. That's a lot, man. It's a lot of stuff you're going to have to drop, especially if you want to take care of this. But like I said, this is just a route to the people who have stuff to spend. You guys can take this route. Um, so if you guys take care of this, it'll get you to that 60. And you can get um the first your first diamond out of any pack and this goes for any division i'm just showing you guys the nl west division now the second route you guys can take would be completing conquest conquest gets you team affinity it gets you 30 team affinity points and then you guys can come down to exchanges and take care of the nl west players exchange four and that gets you another 30. now one thing to note here these exchanges they're not repeatable anything that's repeatable will say repeatable right in front of it as you guys can see so once you guys do it once you guys cannot do it again and I assume it's the same for this conquest because the conquest doesn't say re um, repeatable. So you guys can only do the conquest once. So that's another way, like I said, conquest and then that one tier four exchange. And now the final way, which I think the route I'm going to be taking is taking care of conquest. That gets you 30 and then go take care of two showdowns, taking care of two showdowns. The showdowns is similar to season one. Exactly the same copy paste. We get a thousand steps for completing the final boss. And then we get um, 500 stuff for completing the first boss in the showdown. It's three missions, a boss, three missions, and the final boss. So it's exactly copy paste. Um, and you get 15, you get um, five vouchers worth three points each, and that's 15 point team affinity points. So like I said, take care of two team affinities, come take care of a conquest, and you guys will get the 60 team affinity points. And lastly, guys, the final fastest way to complete team affinity season two will be through the team affinity season two showdown. So we got three missions to take care of, then we got a boss. Then we got three more missions and then we got the final boss honestly guys the first team affinity season one showdown took me about 20 to 25 minutes to take care of sometimes 30 minutes depending on the missions because the missions can be a little tedious the freaking outfielders can be freaking superheroes and catching any baseball hit to them or they can rob home runs die for them like they're superman i don't know man you guys know what i'm talking about but you guys can take care of four showdowns and i'll get you guys to the 60 pack the 60 team affinity points and I'll let you guys get that first pack but you guys just keep doing this over and over and over. This showdown should take you no longer, no more than 20 to 30 minutes. So this is another fastest way to complete um, Team Affinity Season 2. Now, while playing the Conquest games, guys, you guys want to focus in on these missions. Now, they did change this. 
and they mentioned it in the stream they this used to be 250 innings now it's only 100 plate appearances and it's tally plate appearances and it, it varies on the division so i'm in an nos so i gotta have diamondbacks rockies dodgers padres or giants players and i get uh, it's 100 total play appearance and we get 10 points each like i said guys make sure if you guys are playing that conquest um take make sure you guys have all these types of players in the lineup so you guys are building towards that as well you guys are going to get the conquest 30 points and then you guys are going to be building towards the 10 team affinity points for doing this one same thing with this man this is online 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 on okay once you guys get those flashback cards you guys can start worrying about these ones but like i said just make sure you guys have diamondbacks rockies dodgers padres or giants if you guys are taking care of the nls one make sure those guys are in your lineup when you're doing the conquest map now another thing to note is that each division does come with five moments and if you complete all five moments you get a total of 10 team affinity points this is also a good way too just to get it done just showing you guys so we what we got to do pitch three innings do not give up a run tally one extra base hit still a base strike out eight batters do not give up three runs tally two hits and tally two hits with one extra base hit. nothing too difficult but um this is another way to get 10 team affinity points another way to get 10 team affinity points is through these collections now you guys only got to collect 20 cards and it's what flashback and legends from the national league west division so diamondbacks rockies dodgers padres or giants as you guys can see right here i can get that done already i'm not going to do so because i want to individually select which ones i want to select and when you guys do this make sure you guys are selecting the cards that have no sell on them because for example I have this Fernando Valenzuela down here. Where's he at? Where's he at? Bro, where you at? I just seen you. There. For example, he's not selected, selected, thankfully. But if I ever want to sell him, he's going for over 100,000 stubs right now. So that's another reason why I don't want to select them. Just make sure you select, if you're doing these collections, select the no sell icon um, cards. Just so you know, if you guys want to sell one of these cards that you can sell, you guys don't accidentally collect it. What's going on with the show? <laughs> but yeah, guys, so that was the fastest way to complete Team Affinity Season 2, man. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video, man. Drop a like if you guys did. Now, just to recap real quick, just to recap, just in case you guys need to hear it one more time. The fastest, and I mean the fastest way to get it done is complete these um, exchanges. It's going to cost a lot of studs, but it'll be the fastest way to get there to get your, get to that 60 mark. Um, another route you guys can take is do Conquest and then do the nos players for um exchange that gets you to that 60 mark and then the way like i said i'm gonna take is the conquest and then do two two showdowns and that'll get me to the 60 mark um and like i said when you guys are playing those conquest games make sure you guys have diamondbacks rockies dodgers padres or giants players or whatever it is for whatever division you guys are doing just make sure you have those players in that conquest or in that team for the conquest games because if you guys don't you guys are going to be hurting yourselves because you're not going to be progressing towards this and getting those 10 team affinity points but yeah guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video man drop a like if you guys did and i'll see you guys in the next one it's me your boy jesse d123 and i'm out